morning guys so yesterday I literally felt like crap <laughs> um, yesterday I got up and I felt more sluggish than usual in the morning um, and then I got up and I did my walk and everything but when I got back from my walk like I was so exhausted like so overheated and I didn't like push myself or anything it was just like the typical 20 minute, one mile walk that I typically do. And I just, I just felt like awful. Like my whole body just felt like literally I told Jared that like while I was sitting there um, and looking at the clock thinking I have to get ready for work here soon. I was thinking all I want to do is just snuggle up next to Jared and do absolutely nothing that day. Just like just turn my brain off and just do nothing um, other than like maybe a walk or so to get some fresh air because I just felt horrible so but I sucked it up and I I told Jared like if I hadn't called out last week like I would call out today um that's how bad I felt but I got up I went to work and it's just like I just, just everything just felt like it felt built up built got was building up and I just ended up feeling like a balloon ready to pop and all it took is me, I stepped out of my typical to-do job, or role, job for but the specific position I was in at the time, to go and help somebody else, because we had two people who were new, that, or we had actually more than that, that aren't typically at Frozen, so I stopped what I was doing to help them, but I let everyone know, hey, this is what I'm doing. Well, apparently I did something that I wasn't supposed to, uh, because I wasn't informed. I didn't get in trouble or anything. They just came over, like our coordinator came over and talked to me and said, hey, you're really not supposed to do this, da 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 And I was like, but this really needs to get done. He's like, yeah, I know, but you need to be over here doing this. And it was just me being frustrated with the situation and frustrated with the new people that weren't able to help because like my patience was gone because I just didn't want to do I didn't feel like doing anything like smiling was really hard for me and he, he came over and he's like it's okay just don't you know don't do it again but like I just felt so like I let them down and I was just trying to help and I just felt like useless and like nothing that I did was doing anything and so like I had a good cry and then like from the next hour, and then mind you, this is like within the first two hours of working, this happened. And then like the next hour or so, like everyone could hear my voice on the radio. And I know this because everyone kept going by like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? And I was like, no, I'm not okay. Um, luckily we have been very overstaffed for the last couple of weeks. Um, and I mean like very overstaffed. And so I, and I, I put in for ER an early release, like as soon as I came into work. And I let the coordinator know, I said, hey, I'm not feeling well. Um, I put in for an ER, but I'm flexible. I just wanna go as soon as I possibly can. Um, and I started at 9.30 and they were able to ER me at 12.45. Luckily, after my first break, after I had a good cry, after someone came and hugged me, which made me cry again, um, I felt, oh, that was a stoplight. I need to back up a bit. Can you, please? Okay, guess not. <sighs> um, Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I'm like right on the edge. Please don't run me over. Oh fudge, I think I'm too far up. If this person hadn't scooted all the way back, fudge. This is why when someone has crossed the line at a light, you don't get up on their tail and say, hey, deal with it. Because right now I feel like I'm getting my nose chopped off. Which no is not your fault. The light changed quicker than anticipated. I thought I would make it. Um, I forgot my train of thought. Anyway, I went home and I told Jared. Jared knew all this because I told him on my first break. So he knew I wasn't feeling well. So he came and he took care of me. He, he literally, he ordered um, pizza. I get a healthy pizza. Um, and um, so I, I changed my clothes. I crawled in the bed with him. Typically I hang out in the guest room and do my own thing, but I just wanted to be next to him 
So I called up next to him, had my pizza, had some water, and then crashed. Like, I had a nap for a good hour, um, and it was good. I need, It was a well-needed nap, and then I just kind of hung out in bed, like, the whole rest of the day, just cuddling with him, because I just didn't, I didn't feel good. Um, and then after lunch, or, no, when did I get up? Oh, that's right. I woke up before he did because he also fell asleep. Um, at that time, I got up and I was walking around. I felt much, much, much better. And then we went for a walk. That was good. There was nothing wrong there. Like, as the day, as after I took my nap, the day got better. Mornings are just hard for me Some in, in general. Um, that's why I like having a slow morning every single day. And I do my yoga and I go for a walk. Because typically that, like, helps jumpstart my morning. So by the time... I do have to go to work. My body is all ready to go, but I just wasn't feeling it yesterday. So anyway, that's why I didn't vlog yesterday was because I just wasn't feeling it. But I did want to say, I know I've been rambling on for a very long time. Um, I did want to say that Jared got his internship. Uh, the SeaWorld internship. He needs well, he needs a safety internship to graduate for school, so that's what we really wanted. But he put in for, he applied for a SeaWorld safety internship, and he also applied, oh, this is the fun part. I hate this road. He also applied for um, the two part-time jobs in that field. And so, hold on, let me get over and then I'll explain that. Okay, now I'm in the red lane. <laughs> I hate this crossover. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, okay, so I don't want to tell the whole entire story because you've probably heard it already. Um, but Jared had his interview for his internship and they called him yesterday telling him, hey, you got the internship, but here's the thing. We want to interview you for the job on Thursday so tomorrow tomorrow yeah tomorrow he has an interview for the part-time job and basically what they're gonna do is figure out what he's a best fit for is he best fit for the internship would he be a good fit for the part-time job because he's already done a safety internship before with Disney so he may be qualified and he's more than halfway done with his grad school school work so he may, like I said very well be qualified for the part-time job personally I want him to get the part-time job because that's a jump start on his career before he even graduates um, he possibly could turn the internship into a job essentially after it's over I think it's just for the summer but he might be able to extend it um, but what I really love is from what I've been hearing from everyone talking to Jared um, HR and the people interviewing him they're all very much willing to work with him which I love a lot um, like they they were talking about like you know we want to make sure that you can get the part-time job used for field experience because he needs field, ex field experience really um, not just an internship and so I and he's I'm excited though because like this summer is gonna be good anyway you look at it he's gonna be getting paid twice if not three times as much as I currently get paid um, he might be able to work more hours as well even though he's part-time um, or if he gets the internship it'll be full-time but if he gets part-time then you know he'll still be getting paid more than I am he'll still be getting paid the three thousand dollar stipend for going to school because he's still gonna be doing school while he's doing part-time or the internship um, he has all online classes which is good which means he's really flexible and he's able to take less because of the internship slash uh, field experience so that's really really good it'll make it easier on him um, this is his second to last, this will be his second to last semester. He's got summer and then he's got fall and then he's done. So I'm very much excited about this. I constantly tell, told him that it's like, I knew you were going to get it. You're extremely smart. You're a hard worker. And like, I know I'm biased, but I have paper proof to prove that all of these things. And so really excited. Uh, right now 
it he won't start until end of June so he's got about a month left at Universal Studios um, which means we're gonna try and use any of the Universal Studios benefits as much as possible in that next month and then we have to decide if we're going to get him an annual pass for Universal Studios or if maybe um, I will get rid of mine because I'm current I told him I was like I don't want to have a Universal Studios pass or I don't want to be paying for it because I pay 20 bucks a month for it if we're not gonna ever go so there's that that's a lot um luckily I'm actually not gonna be vlogging too much after I get back from work as soon as I get back from work Jared and I we've been working out together every single day um and so when I get back home, which is gonna be late, we're gonna be going for a quick little walk. So I won't be vlogging too much more when I get home after work. Um, yeah, that's about it. I uh, hear that we're gonna get a new parking lot here soon, um, like in a couple of weeks. So that's exciting. Um, like it's actually gonna be opening up. And with that, the cast are also getting a new cast services building which is quite interesting. Right now, our cast services building is right behind Indiana Jones, um, and it's gonna be moving closer to Star Tours, I think. So that'll be interesting. Anyway, um, I'm gonna stop rambling now. Hey, so today was actually a really good day. Um, like I said this morning, um, yesterday was not a good day, and all of my cast member friends could tell. And today, they were so sweet. I came into work. And they were like, so how are you feeling today? Mind you, I didn't like say anything other than the fact that I wasn't feeling good. They just could tell and could sense that I wasn't feeling good. And they were, I said, I'm feeling much better. And I did, I felt a lot better. Um, Kiki, damn it. This child has been so like aggressive lately. Stop it, stop attacking the floor. Um. <laughs> Anyway, they were really sweet, gave me hugs. Um, I was able to get out a little earlier so Jared and I could go for a 30 minute walk, which was nice. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna try and get off early, but I have a feeling that I ha am a, a closer, a closing position, which means I have a checklist that I have to do, which means I can't get off early. But we will see if someone will switch out times with me because even though tomorrow's my last day that I'm working for like, a couple of days like I ended up asking one too many days off this weekend um like and I need to work all 10 hours so I can get a little bit of overtime um I would rather not just because 10 hour shifts I don't like I don't typically work eight hour shifts often like I typically work six hour shifts and 10 hours is even worse so but I have to say today actually wasn't too bad um I ended up being like not too bad. I ended up getting hungry at one point, um, but like because we've been so overstaffed, it, like I haven't been like working hard. You know, it's just been a long day because there's nothing new because we're not busy. But anyway, I'm rambling now. Just wanted to share my delicious salmon rice um, with spinach, and it looks yellow because I put turmeric in it. Um, it is amazing how like pigmented turmeric is like I did the the burgers oh, which I forgot are in there we need to be eating those and um like my nails were yellow for days but anyway thank you all so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed today's video um I don't really know what I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow because like again 10 hour shift so we will see about that, but I hope you guys all are having a great week, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!